Hey guys, how you going? My name's Max Mofo Tech. I got a little little karambit. A little crimson web karambit. Oh, don't want to poke myself. That'll hurt. I have a motherboard coming in today. Like right about now. So I went outside to the mailboxes and there was a, a mailman, or mail, mail lady rather, out there putting all the mail in. So I'll just wait for a hot minute and then go back out there. Hey look, it's a fucking shake weight. Now someone can walk by and just finesse those packages right there. That's not a nice way to deal with things. Just bring it to the front office. Don't leave things on the hallway there. These people just take those. There's no cameras. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. I know the white balance is all blue. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, here we go. Shit, okay. Eventually we'll get it open by doing that. Let's hope I don't fuck up whatever's in here. Whew. So this is an LGA 775 um, Intel D975XBX2 Extreme Series motherboard. I am excited for this. Apparently it's new. Um, and it just said, um, he said he wasn't sure about the condition, like if it worked or not, but yeah, I bought it anyway. So we've got the drivers for the board that might actually come in handy if we were to get like Ethernet or whatever to work at first, uh, if that's an issue. Then we have Intel processor board compatibility tool. That's interesting, I already see the Q6600, that's what I'll be using on this. That's a very nice inclusion. Uh, I'm sure 10 years ago, back in the day, especially, we got the whole freaking manual here. I've already looked at the PDF of the manual, but here's the whole thing right here. That's actually pretty handy. 10 years old, pristine condition. And here we go. This is it. I've been waiting for this for quite a while. I have another package or so coming in. It's like a reference to Ran Wrap or some shit. But the, the first stuff I ordered hasn't come in yet. So I'm gonna... Really gonna hope that comes in soon. Within the next week. I always enjoy getting new uh, anti-static boards. Shut up! Oh my god! Whew. I'll put you on the box. So the, um, this plate came off. Oh snap, is that a bent pin? Didn't say anything about that. I hope, okay, so I'm after a pair of this board, which is gonna really suck. Those are bent pins, I see. Okay, well we have some slots here for RAM. Okay, that's ruined my day. <laughs> if you can get in on these bent pins, I think I see, yep, there's definitely some right there, right in the middle. That's nice, I love that. You didn't mention those. So again, this is LGA 775 board. Uh, supports uh, Crossfire, I know that much. I have a feeling this is not new. I mean, I like how it includes all the hardware and stuff with it, like the manual and whatnot. But damn, those pins are bent. At least one of them right in the middle. So I'm gonna have to fix that somehow. So thank you all for watching another I Bought Stuff. Right, I have never done this before. So I guess good luck on my end. There's just one bent pin, it looks like. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. It's definitely still bent, but I, I wonder if this will actually work. Like, that'll be really interesting. I guess we'll give it a try. <laughs> I don't want to put a processor in um, right away, just in case um, that were to fuck it up more, but it looks like it's... I mean, either it'll work now, or I'll have to keep working at it. So I guess we'll give it a I give, we'll give it a try. It sounds really weird. I try putting the processor in. Like, I don't know if that's how these boards are when you first put a processor in. I just use some tweezers, by the way, to try to push that down. But it feels elevated. Can you hear that? It's almost like crunching. Well, you miss all the shots you don't take. Oh, that sounded brutal. 
G fucking G. Let's see if this works. That looks like a lot, but it's actually not. Alright, so here I'm using uh, the Q6600 with the motherboard with the bent pen, 8 gigs of RAM, uh, GT730 and 750 watt EVGA power supply, and I think this but there's a button on here that turns this on, I think. There we go. Okay, so the board turns on, that's good. Everything spins up, so... Things could be working. Uh, nothing on the screen yet, unfortunately. Oh, something, we're getting something. Yes, nice, okay. Did that work? Because I think, okay, no, we're here, okay. All right, so here it says Q6600, it reads that right. It reads the uh, 1066 um, front side bus, memory speed of 800 megahertz, that's right. Eight gigs of RAM, that's also right. Has the date right too, that's rare for an old board like this. The last two I've used, I had to set the date manually from like 2008 or something. And I may incorporate this into a video coming soon. So I will see you guys next time. The pin thing, whatever, was a success. My very first uh, motherboard resurrection, if it didn't work before, which I don't think it did, I would have. So, thank you guys for watching. Bye.